Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Anos and today we're going to talk about why you should farm Tokachiro and the mission Cherry Blossom Viewing in Daigo. I'm continuing my series on where to get smithing techs and weapon skills. I'm attempting to take it a step further by confirming 100% what you can get and from where, rather than relying on research and word of mouth. First we'll cover my confirmations and what you can get, then we'll talk quickly about my character setup and my level at the point of making this video. And finally, I'll show you the footage of me running through the level and I'll commentate on where I'm going and on what stages some of the smithing text drops come. This video will be pretty long, mainly because the mission itself is one of the bigger ones, but it contains a boatload of smithing text, so I feel like it's worth your time. I'm going to show you the route that you need to take to get through quickly and how to reset at certain stages in case you didn't get the drop you were after. As always, guys, if you find this useful, even if you just stick around for the drop confirmations, Please leave me a like and comment before you go, it really does help the channel to grow. Okay, enough intro, let's jump in. So first, the confirmed smithing text from Cherry Blossom Viewing in Daigo. Nightstorm Kasurigama. This has a baseline 6% active skill damage. Next, the Demon God Hammer. This is a hammer imbued with fire. The Tiger of Higo Spear. This is a spear from the armor set, Hunter of Tigers. This one drops from one of the seven spears during the mission. I'll show you which one during the run through. The Ota Gene Spear. This one has an imbued water effect at base level. Next is Raging's Claw. This is the lightning imbued switch glaive. Mount Fuji Helmet, which gives you a minus 7% key consumption when ailing. Again, this drops from one of the seven spears during the mission. I will show you that. Next, the Demon's Maw. This is a corrupted sword with a plus 4% melee damage stat at base level. Then we've got the Fire Fire Blade. This is a purity imbued Odachi with also life recovery on Amrita absorption. Mikazuki Munichika. This is another sword. This one is imbued with lightning. Josemaro Tsunasugu. Yet another sword. This one is imbued with purity. And finally, the Child of the Sun armor set. This one is luck based heavy armor set and actually the reason I started farming this in the first place. Now, before we move on, I'll confirm a few things. I was running the mission in New Game, not New Game Plus, so all of the texts mentioned are possible to get on your first playthrough. That said, I was midway through my New Game Plus run when I decided to do this, which meant that my luck and item drop rates had improved based on my gear. My luck stat at base was 123. This was made up mainly from a plus 40 luck by being aligned with the Gamo Clan, alongside my T-set bonus and some plus luck gear here and there. All of my three soul cores had luck on yokai shift, which gave me an additional 95 luck on top of this. I was also using a luck bringer talisman from the Omnio tree. No clue how much that gave me. What I can tell you for certain though is that having the luck bringer talisman active and managing to finish Tokachiro off while in yokai form made a huge difference to my drops. I was also using the Kadama Hunter Blessing for 25 plus bonus on material drop rate which both smithing techs and hidden skills fall into. I was also wearing a Kadama bowl as my helmet for the 28% bump in Kadama blessing bonus. My item drop rate was around 30%. Okay, so next I'll show you the route I took to get through the mission quickly. Before we do that, I wanted to mention that if you do drop something you want to keep, you need to make sure that your game is saved. Don't just quit out of the mission because you'll lose your drop. Make sure to either visit a shrine afterwards, die, so the game saves, or finish the mission and proceed back to the map screen. I've made that mistake before, you don't want to lose your drop. You can most likely make this run quicker with practice or better gear. My later runs, which I didn't record, were actually slightly faster than this. First off, don't do this. Was not looking where I was going. Anyway, with the run through, I'll leave the game audio playing and then commentate only when I feel like I'll be adding some value. You'll take most of what you need just by watching. I'll also add some information about how to make sure you get and keep your drops once you've got them. And also the difference between yokai form and the luck bringer talisman versus not using it. I can demonstrate that toward the end.
Make sure you kill those guys that I just killed. Uh, they can follow you into the next room. They can also follow you to the mini boss if they're really determined and you really don't want that. There's also a scampus right there that you can pick up. I'd picked him up like 500 times by this point, so I just left him where he was. Again, kill this guy before you move on. He can follow you, which causes all sorts of havoc later on. This guy will either stab you in the back while you're opening the gate or ambush you as you're having a quick conversation afterwards, so kill him on the way through. <clears throat> After you've got the backstab off, go and shoot the guy with the rifle. He's really annoying during this fight. This is the guy that dropped the Mount Fiji 
smithing text the uh the helmet so you want to make sure you kill him the seven spears probably have more smithing text that i haven't found yet so I, I would make sure to kill all of them on your way through that's what i've been doing Now, when you go into this area, don't do what I did here, which is go ahead and break the crystal. What will happen if you do that on this one in particular is that Mumyo, your little partner in crime, will down tools and leave you in the lurch. The minute that crystal breaks, she'll leave you to do this fight on your own. I mean, look at her, just stood there. Come on, man. Here you want to headshot the archer before you engage in this fight. It's pretty perilous up on the ledge, so you don't want to be getting shot while you fight him. Up ahead there's a Yoki behind the cloud and he's guarding a chest with some loot in it which is worthwhile if you fancy it. I got to the point where I was skipping it though. On this one if you're able to dash ahead and break the crystal at the end it'll trash the key of both the enemies which makes the fight a little bit easier.
So this is an important spot. We're creeping up on Tokachiro now, but there's a smithing tax coming up that you might want to farm. So make sure to rest at this shrine first before you move ahead. Now this is the guy that drops the spear from the, the Hunter of Tigers armor set. So if you want to farm him specifically, what you need to do is kill him. If he doesn't drop what you want, then you want to jump out to the menu and jump back into the mission. It will start you back at the shrine and you can go and rinse and repeat this fight. Once you've rested after you've killed him, this guy will not respawn. Now up ahead is a Tokushira fight. If you don't want to fight that guy again, the best thing you can do is go back to the shrine and rest and then come back up the hill. You'll have to fight those two mini guys quickly on your way through or alternatively you can literally just sprint past them and then it's on to the fight. I'll show you the boss fight now quickly. It's not my prettiest performance but you'll see me get through it. I'll also talk about how I managed to maximize the potential to get smithing techs and drops at the end of the fight. Now on this kill, I killed him far too quickly. I didn't use the Luckbringer Talisman and I didn't jump into my Yokai form. And look at how pathetic the drops are. So what I did here was jump out back to the main menu and then reload the game. And what it did, it put me back at the shrine at exactly the place where I left off just before the boss fight and I did it again. Now let me show you the difference very quickly in the drops when I do the fight right. This time around, just before the fight ended, I managed to drop the Luckbringer Talisman, just as he had maybe 10% health left, jumped into Yokai form and finished him off. And I got not one but two smithing techs in one kill. Now in order to keep those smithing techs, what I did was activate the next stage of the fight, let myself get killed, which saved the game, and then I jumped back to the menu and started the mission all over again so that I could speed run through and have the fight with Tokachiro another time. Right guys, I'll wrap it up there. I really hope you found that useful. If you did, like and comment. If you're new, please subscribe. Love to have you in the community. And uh, I'll see you again for the next one. Thanks again for joining me. Take it easy, guys. See you now. Stay safe. Bye-bye.